Unit 9. Strategy. Track 7. So, what's your view of brainstorming sessions, Sarah? I just don't see the point of them sometimes. Yes, that can happen if the group hasn't clearly defined the issue to be solved, or the session doesn't stay focused on that issue. Ideally, there shouldn't be more than 8 to 10 people per session, and they should be the right people for the task. <clears throat> and I don't think that I'm at my most creative when I'm in a large group. You know, I prefer to work on my own. Like first thing in the morning when the office is still quiet. Mm -hmm. and, you know. <laughs> now that's not an uncommon feeling, but, you know, when it's done well, brainstorming is a powerful tool. Yes, Martin? I really like working in groups because the dynamics are different. I think it's a really helpful way of, well, generating lots of new ideas in a short amount of time. Mm. Well... Essentially, the idea is just that, to generate as many ideas as possible. In our meetings, it's always the same people who do all the talking, though. Mm. The uh, facilitator or chairperson should try to get everyone to contribute, even the quietest people. It's also crucial that he or she encourages all the ideas, as wild as they may seem. <laughs> yes, but most of the ideas people come up with are completely impractical or just stupid. I think we waste a lot of time in these kinds of meetings. Well, don't spend too long discussing any one suggestion to keep things moving. And all participants should try to have an enthusiastic and uncritical attitude to others' contributions. If someone is too critical, the others aren't going to feel comfortable about being creative. Mm. So mm. You know, try and suspend judgment until later, after the session. Then you can study and evaluate the ideas. Mm. Let's try a short practical exercise. I'd like you all to think of new ways to promote your brand. Uh, and Sarah, could you write all the ideas on the flip chart? Sure. Thanks. So, who'd like to get the ball rolling? Uh, oh, I've got one. Mm -hmm. How about adverts on the sides of all the buses and bus stops around the city centre? It could be good for business. Uh, that's been done before. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd, thought I'd make a start. Thanks, Martin. Remember, as I was saying earlier, the rule is there are no bad ideas when we're brainstorming. <laughs>